Okay, so in this video I will try to explain what CoReader for ebook readers is. CoReader is a software that you can install on many different ebook readers. Here, for example, I have a Kobo Clara and a Kobo Libra and also an Unix Books Palma. And all these readers run CoReader at the moment. You can install it on uh, almost any Kobo ebook reader and you can install it on any Unix books ebook reader that runs Android. You can even install it on normal Android phones and Android tablets. You can also install it on pocketbook devices. And one huge benefit with that is that you can sync the reading progress between all your devices. So even if it runs Android like this or on a Kobo, you can sync the reading progress between them, even with side loaded books. But uh, let's start by opening the Kobo Clara here. If I go out from CoReader by exit here, exit. It needs to sync before it exits, so that's why it uh, using my Wi-Fi at the moment. And then after that it should quit CoReader like this. And now it boots up into the normal Kobo UI that uh, the Kobo devices comes with. So you will see the normal Kobo software soon on this device. And um, the normal Kobo UI, as you see here, works great. Even if you have CoReader installed, all these books are independent of co-readers. So if you read books in the normal Kobo UI, they don't update in co-reader, if you know what I mean. So if you still want to use the normal Kobo UI sometimes, then you need to have the same books on two different places. One for the Kobo UI and one for the co-reader library. So as you can see here, the normal Kobo UI shows the books uh, with images and uh, percent red and what they are called and so on. You have my books here, you have Discover, you have uh, uh, an ebook store and a lot more in the normal Kobo UI. But after installing CoReader, and by the way, on my YouTube channel, I have an excellent video with a tutorial on how to install CoReader on your device. You can check that out on my YouTube channel. And on this Kobo Clara, I have installed the nickel menu with CoReader. If you click on that, you see CoReader there. So if you don't want to use the normal Kobo UI anymore, you can just click on CoReader. And CoReader starts like you are opening a book or something. And it always starts with the latest book you were reading. And it jumps to the place where you are in the book automatically. And you can customize CoReader exactly as you want. One of the biggest benefits is that you can uh, minimize the margins as much as you want, as you see here. So the smaller device you have, for example, the Unix Books Palma, it has a smartphone form factor, then you can, like this, uh, as you see, it syncs the latest reading progress like this. Then you see here you have a very, very small margins at the side here because I want it to be like that because you can do that in the settings of CoReader. You can, for example, find a lot of different settings down here. You can find the margins that I'm talking about here. Left and right margins. You can set what's default. You have eight and eight there. I can even make that even smaller when I'm see this now. We can do like this, six, six and apply. And you can also set this as default, like so. So now we have even smaller margins on this Unix Books Palma. If you would use uh, the normal UI, then you don't have as small margins because you need to have the EPUB formatting, CSS files and so on. But with CoReader, you can 
go over those settings and do whatever you want instead. And that is one huge benefit, as I said. And now you see you're in a book in CoReader. If you want to see the same UI as for the Kobo UI with all your books, you can go here. So if you click on the home button, as you see here, you always will go to what you have set as your home directory. So this is, uh, it doesn't look exactly as you see on the Kobo UI, but I think this has a better look in my opinion, even if this is just a file manager instead of a UI for books. This is more like a file manager. You can, for example, uh, long press on a book and you can select, rename, delete, you can mark it as finished or whatever you want here, as you see. Uh, that is great. But if you, for example, want to have another directory as your home, you can have, for example, my directory for red books, what, what I have read recently. Uh, then you can just long press on that folder and set it as your home folder if you want. But uh, as I said, I have my reading folder as my home folder at the moment. So I will always go here when I click on the home here. That is a huge difference from the Kobo UI, of course. Another difference is that you don't have any store. You don't have an ebook store. You can't buy books from CoReader. So CoReader only works with side loaded books, nothing else. But uh, as I said, you have a lot of nifty features with co-reader just for customization of your reading experience as i said here you can do a lot of stuff you can have a lot of statistics uh, on your status bar here how many pages left and how much time left and of the shop chapter here how much minutes left or how much battery life and time wi-fi and also the brightness as you see here Another great thing, thing is that you can easily get uh, uh, battery statistics, as you see here. And by the way, the Kobo Clara has quite bad battery uh, statistics, actually, compared to my Libra here. So you need 11% of battery per hour, and I think that's not so good, actually. So about 9 hours of uh, reading time before you need to charge it but of course you can have it for uh, a lot of days four days for example since i last charged it as you see and one day and 21 hour left estimated before i need to charge it because i don't read nine hours in a in a row on this device only that's why but if you should read nine hours in a row, then the battery life is empty. Another great thing is you have different uh, statistics and so on. You see here, I read this book on this device in two days, one hour. Uh, I read so many pages. I can write a few words about the book. I can set uh, a score here if I want. And if I long press up here, I can also see more statistics about my reading progress, as you see here. I can see how fast I read every page, 31 seconds per page at the moment. I can see how much I have read uh, in average every day. I really love these different statistics that you get from CoReader. You have even more statistics, actually, if you, if you go to customization here you have more statistics by reading statistics as you see there here you can see a lot of different stuff about the current book reading progress for example here you can see how much you have read every day uh, and so on uh, really good we have even time range uh, you can search for all books how much you have read and last week and so on uh, so for example all books here you can see how much you have read every of every book you can see uh, even last week here what you have read which how much every day 
you can see a lot more calendar view for example you can see which days you have read and which book you have read that day and uh, you can also have today's timeline you see here how much i have read today that's really good i really love the statistics you get from co-reader that is one of the huge benefits other stuff that's great with uh, co-reader is that you have Cali caliber integration as you see here you can connect to your caliber wirelessly to your caliber library on your computer and uh, transfer files wirelessly you can uh, uh, even uh, see your caliber uh, catalog by doing this you can have your caliber library like here and uh, do searches and uh, find books you have in your library and download it to your e-reader totally wirelessly on any of your devices so that's really good uh, you can do so much with co-reader so that's why i really love co-reader uh, and especially as i said the the customization you have for your reading uh, things as you see here you can do a lot of different stuff here i really love that line spacing everything you can change so much you can have different fonts the customization of the fonts you can have different size word spacing word expansion you can even have different contrast if you want and uh, you can uh, make the font bold as you see here i have default 1.5 in boldness of your font and uh, you can have font kerning the best if you want font hinting auto if you want and you can also set an alternative status bar at the top and the bottom so you can have both at the top and bottom with different stats and information and uh, i turn always turn embedded style off you can't do that in a normal kobo ui that means that you can turn off uh, what uh, the, the the settings in the epub file you are reading you can turn off the embedded style of those and use uh, co-reader settings instead i always do that i have that default because I want to set my own margins and text size and fonts. So I always have that off, as you see there. So now if I want to go back to the normal Kobo UI, then I just uh, click here and click exit of uh, CoReader again. So if I click exit here, it exits out from CoReader and go back to the normal Kobo UI. That works so, so great. So in fact, if you are afraid of installing CoReader, uh, yes, maybe your warranty is not uh, available anymore. I'm not sure about that, but maybe it's, it's like that, that you can't have your warranty anymore. If you install CoReader, I haven't uh, bothered with that because I've never had a problem with CoReader actually. It always works on all the devices I install. But uh, if you don't care about the warranty, then you can decide if you want to use the normal Kobo UI and uh, if you want to use the co-reader UI instead by just clicking here and start co-reader. So you can yourself decide. You can still use Kobo device exactly as you want, but still run co-reader when you want. That is a huge benefit with CoReader. So you can install it whenever you want uh, to be able to have more features and then run it when you want to have more features. That is a huge, huge benefit. On an Android based device, it works exactly the same actually, but uh, you have to install an APK file from CoReader's GitHub page. So if you search uh, CoReader Android, for example, then you will find CoReader GitHub page. And when you do that, you just download the APK, APK file uh, 
and from the web browser built into your Android device. You download the APK file to your Android device and then in the file manager app on your Android file, Android system, then you just click on that file and choose install. And after installing it, it will be available as a normal uh, Android app. As you see here, a normal Android app. I have the co-reader app here. So if you want to install co-reader, go to the GitHub page, download APK, click install. That's so easy to do. You should not use the F-Droid version from the F-Droid store, app store, because that is uh, not as good because you can't use uh, some features like syncing and so on. So always install CoReader from CoReader's own GitHub page. Then you can, exactly as I do here, use CoReader exactly as I want. And as you see here, I have two status bar up at the top. I see the name of the book and time and percent. And here I have the rest. And I have two bars on this because I can't fit everything I want down here. So I have two instead. But on bigger devices like the Libra, you don't need to have two status bar, of course. So if I do this, you see here I have a status bar at the bottom with everything I want to see. That is awesome. So that is how easy it is to use CoReader. And I think you will now understand more what CoReader is. It's just a, an alternative software, an alternative UI for your ebook reader. So you can have it more customized, customizations of everything your reading experience, statistics, wireless transfers, and much, much more. Okay, so please like this video. Okay, bye.